Over 8 billion humans are living on Earth today. Yet, the number continues to grow so rapidly that it is almost impossible to understand so many people at such a large scale. So instead, what if we shrink the entire Earth's population to a village where 100 people live, with each person representing around 80 million people in the real world? This simplification will help us visualize and understand what the world's population looks like and how resources and opportunities are being distributed among the people. First off, there would be a total of 50 females and 50 males in this village of 100 people. However, the people would not be equally distributed across the continents. The highest population would be in Asia with 59 people, while 18 people would live in Africa, 9 people in Europe, 8 people in Latin America and the Caribbeans, 5 people in North America, and just one person in Oceania and Australia. Of course, China and India would have the highest population, with both countries having a total of 18 people each, whereas the closest to them would be Indonesia and Pakistan with three people each, while Bangladesh and Japan would have two people each. Nigeria would have the highest population in Africa with three people, while Ethiopia would follow closely with two people. Similarly, in Europe, Russia would have the highest population with a total of two people living there, while Turkey, Germany, and the United Kingdom would have one person each. But in North America, four out of five people living there would be from the United States. Not surprisingly, these 100 people would speak multiple languages. Taking into account only native speakers, 12 people would speak Mandarin Chinese, 6 people Spanish, 5 people English, 5 people Arabic, 4 people Hindi, 3 people Bengali, 3 people Portuguese, 2 people Russian, 2 people Japanese, 2 people Western Punjabi, and 1 person Javanese. The remaining 55 people would speak other languages. Another interesting fact here is that more than half of the entire population would speak at least two languages. Meanwhile, as the languages of these 100 people differ, so do their religions. 31 of them would be Christians. Of these, 16 are Catholics, 11 are Protestants, while the other four are Orthodox. Following closely are Muslims, with a population of 23 people, with the majority of them practicing the Sunni Muslim faith and a tiny fraction the Shia Muslim faith. To put that into numbers, 21 of them would be Sunni Muslims, while only two of them would be Shia Muslims. Another 15 people would be Hindus, mostly living in the region of India, while seven would be Buddhists, with half of them living in China. Furthermore, six people would practice folk religions, while just two people would practice other faiths like Judaism, Taoism, and many others. However, among these 100 people, 16 of them would not practice any religion or believe in the existence of a god. Moving on, the population would consist of 25 people under the age of 15 but the majority of the population would be between the ages of 15 and 64, with 65 people in this category, and only 10 people would be above the age of 65. The average age of the total population would be 31 years, while the average life expectancy would be 73 years. Talking about education, 90 people would be able to read and write. These are the 90 people who had completed a primary education. Of these, 66 completed secondary education, while the number with a college degree is just 40. It would also interest you to know that 91 people write with their right hand, while the other 9 use their left hand. Among these 100 people, 57 of them would live in urban areas, while the remaining 43 people would live in rural areas. However, 22 people would not have adequate shelter to protect them from the wind and the rain. One of them would be homeless, while the other one would be a refugee. But despite the high number of people with a roof over their heads, many of them would not have access to a toilet. At least 32 people would not have basic sanitation facilities, such as private toilets or latrines. Of these, five of them would still defecate in the open, in fields, street gutters, and even bodies of water. However, even though many people still do not have access to a sanitation facility, that would not stop them from having more cell phones. At least 80 people would have a smartphone, 
Of these, 66 people would have access to the internet, with 62 of them actively using social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, and Twitter every month. At least 91 people would have access to electricity to power their devices, but nine others do not have electricity. However, what is most shocking is how wealth is distributed among these 100 people. One person would have a net worth above $1 million. 11 people would have a net worth between $100,000 to $1 million. 33 people would have a net worth between $10,000 and $100,000. And the remaining 55 people would have a net worth less than $10,000. The only person with a net worth above $1 million controls 46% of the total wealth, while the next 11 people control 39% of the total wealth. Together, the richest 12 people own 85% of the total wealth, while the remaining 88 people are left with just 15% of the total wealth. This shows how wealth is distributed unevenly among the rich and the poor in society. Next, let's talk about the number of people with a job in this village of 100 people. 42 of them would be employed. 19 would either be self-employed or have their own businesses. Six people would be unemployed, while the others would be below the employable age. However, one of the underaged people would be engaged in child labor. People need to eat food to survive, but not everyone in the village can access the same quality and quantity of food. While 60 people would have access to enough food, 29 of them would not have adequate access to food, and 11 would be malnourished, with one of them at the risk of starving to death. Similarly, 75 people would have access to safe drinking water, but 25 people would not have access to a safe drinking water source. Smoking is known to cause several health complications, but that is not enough to stop 16 people from using tobacco products daily. However, three of them would suffer from illnesses caused by smoking, and 10 of them would likely die of diseases caused by their smoking. Another thing that would be peculiar to our village of 100 people is that more than half of the population would struggle with their size. 43 people would be overweight with a BMI between 25 and 30, while 16 others would be obese with a BMI greater than 30. In total, 59 people are either overweight or obese. Needless to say, not everyone among these 100 people would be healthy. Eight of them would have heart and circulatory diseases, seven would have diabetes, and 16 of them would experience some form of disability. Compressing the entire population into just 100 people helps us to visualize how we compare to one another. However, in this video, we want to keep this number as similar to the real world as possible. So we want to see how this number would have changed in the past and make projections for future growth. During the Industrial Revolution around 1800, there would be only 12 people on Earth. However, about 130 years later in 1930, the number had doubled to become 25 people. It only took about 40 years for the population to double again as the population became 50 around 1970. Then, in just about five decades, we saw this number double once again to give us the current population of 100 people. The number of people on Earth is increasing, but it is estimated that it will take at least 200 years for the population to double in size again because of declining fertility rates. However, 11 people would be added by 2037 to make the population 111, and this number will mostly be from Africa. Another 12 would be added by 2058 to make the population 123. In the coming weeks, we'll come up with more stories of what, why, how topics. If you enjoyed this story and want to see more like it, consider subscribing to our channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date.